Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. You know, I get a lot of emails from folks asking me how I manage and back up my images. And I've been a little reluctant to do this video because to tell you the truth, I haven't perfected the method yet. What I do actually works fairly well, but it's not quite where I want it to be. Uh, to me, uh, perfection would be is if I uh, go out on a photo shoot and then I import new images into my Lightroom library they automatically will be backed up to other hard drives and to the cloud without me doing anything. Well I have the, my method almost doing that and I'm gonna talk to you about what the shortcomings are of my method and what I do specifically. Now obviously I work with um, Apple computers so some of the stuff I'm going to be talking about is Apple specific but those of you that use Windows if you listen it's going to give you ideas of what you need to do and I'm sure there's uh, more apps even available for Windows that will do what you need to do and maybe hopefully work better than what I'm using so um, anyways just stay tuned if you're using Windows uh, computers because everything I'm going to talk about you could transfer over to a Windows system as well. Now first of all I'd like to define a couple terms the Lightroom catalog and the Lightroom library. The Lightroom library are your image files uh, they're in the Lightroom library so it's a folder or folders that contain all your images. The catalog is something different. The catalog is usually it's in a folder and you're going to have a catalog file but you're also going to have some other files and folders in that catalog folder that will keep all these settings that you do in Lightroom so it's going to hold your previews if you use smart previews they're going to be in there uh, any presets you loaded in and saved are going to be in your catalog also uh, you created any collections things like that they're in your catalog so all these different settings are in your catalog and I'd like to back up my library and my catalog so that if anything ever happened I could uh, just restore them from my backup and uh, start right where I left off. Now for my workflow I need some very specific things. I use two computers for my post-processing. I'm on a 27 inch iMac right now and I use this iMac for probably 90 percent of my post-processing. It's my main computer and that's what I use. But there are some times when I'm out on the road and I'll use a 15 inch Retina Display MacBook Pro and that's my secondary computer and I'll use that uh, to process images. So I need actually um, to use both these computers as I mentioned and I need them to be able to uh, communicate or at least back up the images uh, properly so that the I'm not missing a beat and I guess I'm, I'm getting a little vague right now but I'll be more specific as I explain a little more is I need my library then because I'm using two separate computers I need my library that's all my image files on a portable hard drive and that portable hard drive will be shared between the two computers so right now I'm on my iMac and I have this portable hard drive with all my images plugged into my iMac if I go out on the road I take my MacBook Pro with me and this portable hard drive and I um, process the images with the portable hard drive. Now I have to share a catalog when I do this so that um, I'm, both computers are basically on the same page and I'm going to explain that a little bit more as we go on. Um, there's just some standard backup requirements which are good things uh, to keep in mind to have a, a reliable backup. Um, you should have at least one copy of the library on a catalog on a different drive. So if your current Lightroom catalog and library are on your local drive, you should have at least one external drive, preferably two, where both are being backed up or the, the catalog and the library are going to be backed up to both those drives. Um, if you can't afford two hard drives, one will be okay, but you want at least one so you want that locally. Also though you would like another copy of both the catalog and the library kept off-site basically to the cloud so that if uh, someone breaks into my house and steals all my computer equipment I still have my images and my Lightroom catalog 
on the cloud and I didn't lose those if there's a natural disaster or if there's a fire or something like that and my equipment gets destroyed I have this backup in the cloud so you would want that as well finally um, the catalog itself when you start up Lightroom Lightroom reads the catalog uh, to you know know what folder you were in and what your settings were and stuff like that and um, it, you know that all the, your edits are kept track of in the catalog I need to share one catalog between the two computers and preferably you would like that catalog on uh, the cloud site or the uh, you know the folder that is going to be backed up to the cloud that way the two computers will read that folder and it will be reading the same catalog files uh, so that it will always kind of be seamless I could do work on my iMac shut down my iMac then uh, do work on my MacBook Pro and it will be seamless as though I was on the same computer so my specific uh, you know setup that I'm going to show you now is right here first of all there's you can see I have three hard drives on uh, my uh, 27 inch iMac right now and let me get rid of this so we're not confusing anything there so we have um, uh, this one right here this pink icon uh, Thunderbolt drive is my Lightroom catalog as you can see here it has one folder it's my Lightroom raw files and in here are all the folders that contain all my images and this is the main drive when uh, I import new images into Lightroom they get put on this drive um, this drive media server is not used at all for Lightroom that is where I keep movies and music and it gets served to all the different televisions in the house and to iPads and things like that so if my family's watching a movie it's being served up by this media server so that has nothing to do with what we're talking about now now the Morganti drive uh, I named that I guess just out of vanity is uh, another external drive I have the Lightroom library files backed up to this drive and you can see they're right there so I have a lot of different folders on this drive amongst them are these Lightroom raw files I have them automatically being backed up to this drive now this way if this drive fails I have this backup here now um, before I get much further I should probably mention this is a portable hard drive made by Buffalo I think Buffalo hard drive it's a two terabyte drive it's okay um, it's not as fast as I'd like it to be now it's a Thunderbolt drive and those of you that aren't familiar with Apple Thunderbolt is probably the fastest um, in input output um, technology for uh, you know uh, specifically for hard drives and um, that's why I wanted Thunderbolt drives to do this unfortunately this drive just doesn't have really fast read write time so it isn't as fast as I'd like it to be so it kinda of bogs down my Lightroom a little bit if I was ever gonna upgrade anything I would love to upgrade this portable hard drive but I need a small hard drive because as I mentioned I will be on the road on airplanes things like that I do not want a large drive Conversely, this Morganti drive, which is also a Thunderbolt drive, it's a Lacey desktop drive. It's three terabytes. It's relatively big, and it has a separate power supply. Uh, so if I'm on an airplane, obviously, I, I'd be difficult to plug this in because I need a separate power outlet. Now, this drive, on the other hand, is a 7200 RPM drive, and it's super fast. Uh, so this drive is excellent. This is, as I mentioned, a Lacey three terabyte drive. So as I mentioned I got my images my Lightroom library on here they get backed up to here they also get backed up to the local drive of my iMac that's my second backup and um, the reason um, you know it's it's just good to have two backups the the iMac has a three terabyte hybrid drive which is a super super fast drive so the, the images get backed up to the Morganti drive and they get backed up to the local drive now I have them backed up to my Dropbox folder on my local drive 
and they're right here the Lightroom RAW files. The reason why I have them backed up to Dropbox is because that kills two birds with one stone. Not only do I have them backed up twice locally to that external drive in this internal drive, I have them then backed up to the cloud through Dropbox. Dropbox will upload them to the cloud automatically. Now this all sounds great and it should work great. I use an app called a Sync Time. Sync Time is an app that just basically mirrors folders. So I have, I call this one Lightroom Library Backup Number One. So the images get written to this main portable drive, which is my main drive, and it gets then backed up to the Morganti drive right there. Lightroom Library Backup Two, it gets backed up to my Dropbox which is on my uh, internal drive on this Mac right here. So those are the two main backups of my image files and you can see keeping synchronized in the background, keeping synchronized in the background. So if I make any changes here they'll automatically get written to this drive and to the internal hard drive of this computer and then Dropbox will then uh, reflect those changes to the cloud. Now this sounds great but in practice it doesn't work super good. The main problem I have with this is when I am importing new images onto this hard drive um, sync time automatically starts putting them on this drive and my Dropbox. That would work great except that Dropbox in turn immediately starts trying to upload them to the cloud and it indexes them as it goes and what happens is this Lightroom Library Backup 2 will stop. It says there was an error writing because both Sync Time and Dropbox are, are accessing the files at the same time and it will come up with an error. So what I have to do before I import images into Lightroom, I have to go up to Dropbox and pause syncing. And if I pause syncing, then load images into my Lightroom folder, then they get backed up properly uh, to the two local drives. Then when I'm done with Lightroom, I have to remember to go back up to Dropbox and resume syncing then they get saved to the cloud. So that's a weakness in my system. Now the other thing we talked about is backing up the catalog or saving the catalog. And I keep the catalog on a different cloud service than Dropbox. And I keep it on copy.com. Copy is almost identical to Dropbox. It's got some free spice space if you say if you sign up with copy.com. Just like Dropbox, they give you free gigabytes. I don't know how many. I think they give you more than what Dropbox gives you. And it works pretty much identically uh, to Dropbox. So whenever I do anything, whenever I open Lightroom, the catalog gets written to. Uh, whenever I do any changes, I I modify things, I whatever whatever I'm doing the catalog gets modified it gets modified immediately to my copy folder which is locally and it's right here here it is Lightroom is the catalog it's called Lightroom and it's right there so it immediately then uh, gets written there and then I have it with sync time backing it up to my Morganti drive so it gets backed up so there's one local backup right there then copy in turn will copy that to the cloud and um, that one usually works pretty good as far as copy into the cloud but it has a different problem which I'm going to show you now. Now remember I want that catalog on the cloud because when I open up my MacBook Pro and I want to do anything on there it's going to download that catalog and then I could resume my processing right where I left off. So that's why I do it that way. So uh, just an overview, to rem the files are getting backed up twice. They're getting locally, twice locally to this Morganti drive and to the internal drive of this machine and they're getting backed up once to the cloud. My catalog on the other hand is only getting backed up locally once to the Morganti drive and then it gets backed up to the cloud.
Now I mentioned that there's an issue with sync time when I open Lightroom and I'm going to open Lightroom now and what happens is um, now I have notifications on my Apple turned off right now my MacBook or my iMac I'm sorry because when I do videos if I get text messages or something I get I get you know notifications so I turn them off so it doesn't interrupt us but typically I'd get a notification here telling me that sync time has stopped backing up the catalog but I could show you here we're going to show sync time and if you look right here at my catalog backup it says background syncing stopped and the reason why it stops when I open Lightroom is Lightroom puts a lock on the catalog folder so because it's locked um, sync time can't do anything with it. It can't even read it or copy it. So it stops. So there's another weakness in my system. As when I'm done with Lightroom, I have to remember to manually go up here and restart the syncing. And to do that, um, oops, I don't do it there. We go to show sync time. I usually just right click here and sync selected. I could just hit this checkbox too and it will start syncing it. But I can't do it while Lightroom is open. So um, that's my backup, how I back up everything. Now, I mentioned that I do most of my processing or post processing on this computer, so usually there's not an issue waiting for things to upload and download and stuff like that. But there are times when I uh, will be processing something and I really then have to get over to my MacBook Pro to do something and I need it to upload quickly. That is why. I keep the images on Dropbox and the catalog on copy. If I had them all on the same cloud service, both the catalog and the library, let's say I just imported 200 images and the, I, they're big images. I took my Nikon D800E, so they're huge. Um, Dropbox would start uploading them one by one and it usually starts with the smallest image I found and works up to the largest file and um, in size in you know disk space the Lightroom library or the Lightroom catalog files will get mixed in there and I'll have to wait maybe an hour or two hours because it takes a long time for those image files to get uploaded to the cloud um, my uh, cable service my uh, internet service is 30 megabits per second download but only 5 megabits per second upload so it takes a long time to upload things so what I found what works for me is I keep the catalogs uh, catalog backed up to copy so that they get put up there usually within a minute or two uh, the um, copy um, file the the catalog files are backed up to copy uh, fine you know, copy.com, and then I could open up my MacBook and they get downloaded in a minute or two, uh, not even. And then I could start up Lightroom and resume right where I left off. So I'm going to demo that now. I, I'm just going to do this image right here. Um, I'm going to create a collection just to show you that when we open up my MacBook Pro, this new collection will be there. And I'm going to just going to call it test. And I'm going to include that one photo right there. So um, I have a collection now called test and it has one folder in it and I'm just going to do some processing on this image uh, very uh, quickly uh, nothing fancy just bear with me uh, gonna now those of you that don't haven't watched any of my videos uh, ever I have all kinds of uh, videos on um, post-processing using Lightroom Lightroom 5 Lightroom 6 Lightroom CC you can look up those videos and um, get an idea why I'm doing what I'm doing and the way I'm doing things. And like I mentioned, we're just going to go very quickly just so you could see that I obviously uh, processed uh, the image. Look like that's good just real quickly let's just do lens corrections all right well that's good enough all right so we have this image we at least did some processing to it so I'm done with Lightroom so I'm going to close down Lightroom now what will happen is it usually takes a second for a copy I noticed Dropbox will start uploading 
like right away. Sometimes copy needs uh, to, to it takes a minute before it'll start. But I found I because I'm very impatient, if I go down here and pause the, the, the sync, so, you know, just click on this little copy icon and then resume the sync, that it will start uploading uh, you know almost right away and of course when I'm doing the video it isn't doing it either it's scanning for changes at the moment so as I mentioned though it will usually do it in maybe two minutes so I'm gonna stop the video on this iMac and I'm gonna allow the catalog uh, to be totally uploaded uh, to copy it's starting to upload now you can see this little status bar here and then I'm going to resume the video on my MacBook Pro and uh, show you that when I open Lightroom on my MacBook Pro that um, I could just you know start right where I left off now one thing I, I you told you I have to remember to do is I have to go to this sync time and the background syncing stopped um, as you recall so I have to um, sync the selected so that it will go back and it will uh, back up this catalog to the Morganti drive. Now actually um, if I forgot to do that if I turn the computer off and turn it back on it will it will resume syncing as again I don't uh, you know if I just forget to do it it will once the computer is cycled on and off will start syncing again. So again, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to uh, resume the video on my MacBook Pro. Okay guys, now you can see I am on my MacBook Pro and I have that portable hard drive plugged into my MacBook Pro and I waited for the uh, copy uh, software to download my catalog that was uploaded to copy from my iMac to download it to this computer and I have to do that every single time uh, if I'm uh, going to do my method of sharing a catalog. That is sometimes inconvenient. It downloads a lot faster of course than it uploads because as I mentioned I have 30 megabits per second download, 5 megabits per second upload. It's kind of typical in the United States is that the upload speeds are considerably slower than the download speeds and I should mention that when I uh, started backing up my library to Dropbox uh, the initial copy was about 500 gigabytes of, of images and it took uh, seven days to upload uh, with my computer being on 24 hours a day it took seven days to upload 500 gigabytes of images so uh, one thing if I really this starts getting a little too slow or whatever for me I should upgrade my internet and try to get a faster upload speed that would help things along considerably now as most of you know that use Dropbox if you if you upload something on one computer it will get downloaded automatically to your other computer and because I uploaded 500 gigabytes of images to Dropbox I don't want that 500 gigabytes of images to try to be even downloaded to this computer first of all this computer only has a 256 gigabyte um, flash drive so I couldn't even fit all those images on the local drive of this computer so those of you that um, use Dropbox if you if you do this go to preferences in Dropbox go to your account and right here it says selective sync change settings and you can see Lightroom raw files that folder which is around 500 gigabytes in size I do not have checked that means that they will not be downloaded to this computer which is fine I already have it backed up twice and I have it backed up to the cloud so I don't need it backed up to this image or to this computer I have this portable drive that I'm using now back to the catalog it uploaded to copy then I opened this or turned on this computer it downloaded from copy to this computer so now I could open Lightroom and theoretically it should be right where I left it off on that one image uh, remember I created a collection there I am on this image right where I left off and if I open this panel you can see it's in a collection called test which I created on the other computer so I could now resume if I so choose 
processing this image on this computer. And then I have to do the reverse. I have to uh, close Lightroom down, wait for it to upload any catalog changes to copy. Then when I fire up my iMac, I have to wait for it to download those catalog changes before I open up Lightroom. So there is some inconvenience there. Now, um, the other thing I was going to mention, and I don't remember what it was, and I'm sure I'll remember it when I turn this off. Um, well, why don't I just close this down? So you can see it it is the same image. It's right where I left off, basically. Um, but that's, you know, like I said, my method, but it's kind of flawed uh, in that it's not totally autonomous. Uh, when I uh, import images into Lightroom, I have to uh, pause Dropbox before I do it or I'll come up with an error. Also, when I open Lightroom on my iMac, sync time will stop uh, syncing the catalog folder because Lightroom puts a lock on it. So then I have to remember to restart that up as well. Um, the only other thing I was going to say, if I am on the road and I have my MacBook Pro, this computer with me, with this portable hard drive, which is the main drive that holds my files, and let's say I took 200 images and I am on my uh, MacBook Pro and I load them into Lightroom. They'll get copied to this, um, this hard drive. Those images are now vulnerable because they're not backed up. I do not do have sync time running on this computer. I do not have my Lacey hard drive with me that's plugged in, and I'm not going to, um, you know, in a hotel I can't back up to Dropbox. It would take forever. So um, they're now vulnerable. So what I do is I never delete them off the SD card. They're, they they stay on the SD cards. I have I bring extra SD cards. So if I fill up a card, I don't have to delete any images to you know go out another day of shooting. So I keep everything on the SD card. When I get home, I'll uh, plug this hard drive into my iMac. Sync time will automatically note that there's changes and will automatically start backing it up. That's one thing that does work perfectly. It'll automatically then, all those new files I loaded in there will automatically get backed up to my Lacey hard drive, to the local hard drive, and when I resume syncing with Dropbox, they'll get uploaded to the cloud as well. So all that gets taken care of uh, perfectly. So um, that is my method to do it. It's almost autonomous, but not quite. Um, those of you that do something and you think it might be better, leave your com leave it in the comment section on how you do it and how it works for you. If you guys that use Windows uh, know of some uh, folder mirroring programs that would work like sync time, mention it. If any of you that use uh, Apple products and use something better than sync time, let me know about it. Um, I've used two other apps off the top of my head. I don't know what they are before sync time, and neither one worked very well. Sync time of the three works the best, but as I mentioned, it's still not perfect. So uh, that's it. That's how I. Uh, backup and my images. I'd like to thank everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. And um, if you guys haven't already, if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd really appreciate that. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.